don't have very much time right at the second. Um, just to let you know, my we've been having my power's been flashing on and off a lot since that storm. Um, so this is going to be a short one. I'm going to come back on later on tonight um, for a members only and probably a more longer. I'm probably going to do. I'm even. Yeah, it's probably just going to be a members only, and then I may do another short update before that. But it's going to be a little bit later on. Um, my family uh, has actually surprised me again today with a. <laughs> um, it's kind of a belated birthday, Father's Day gift. Um, we're going to go to Dave and Buster's. We're going to have us a good time. But as soon as we get back, I will uh, uh, hop on here. So it's probably going to be, you know, it's probably going to be around midnight. So just to let everybody know. But I will be back on here. I am going to do both. So um, midnight or maybe a little bit later. just depends uh, on what's going on. I'm trying, guys. <laughs> I promise. Promise, promise, promise. Oh, man. But thanks, Jammer. I appreciate you, brother. I really do. Just trying to get this in real quick. Alrighty then. So everybody else can is is here. They can everything's five for five. All right. So um, we do got these two big coronal holes. This is really the the main part of what I want to talk about right now. Um, these are going to be giving us the space weather. Uh, these things are are big enough that we're going to be connected to them and. A bunch of charged particles are going to hit us. Most likely, we're going to get into some uh, geomagnetic storming here in the next couple days. Um, with that being said, here is the latest. We had an X-flare yesterday. I think I already, already reported on that. Uh, but if you notice, our geomagnetic activity right here is kind of up and down. Um, and that is partly because of that, that larger coronal hole down here. Um, this one here is uh, trans-equatorial, which means it's going across the equator region of the of the sun um, yeah I know you guys see that flash that's just a uh, artifact of what's going on with the satellite right now it's not a big deal it happens all the time um, I just don't usually point it out <laughs> okay um, but as you can see guys our BZ we look for negative six that's the polarity of said uh, magnetic field or so what we're looking at here is when we're in a negative, it means we're in the right position magnetically to accept a, a lot easier whatever's coming from the sun, space weather in general. Okay, um, so I'll just you know I'm kind of kind of leave it at that. We look at for negative six, and when it does it over here on this graph, the Discover graph, um, it'll highlight it for you right there. So, yeah, I don't want to like go too much more into that but um yeah now the density and the speed matters right but the biggest key we look at is that negative six so when we get here we can get into geomagnetic storming and you know that just means it is what it is right okay Uh, right here so here's our here's our magnetosphere and this is space weather hitting Earth's magnetic field it's coming from the Sun and as you can see here that's the first point of contact called our bow shock um, and I'm gonna pause it and just kind of grab the slider it'll be better now this is magnetic pressure okay um, so when we're getting this you can see how we're compressed see how it's kind of oblong when that happens it opens up sometimes cracks in our magnetic field and that's how stuff gets in that's where our aurora comes well not all of our aurora but some of our aurora when we get it down in mid latitudes towards the equator um that's where that comes from cracks opening up so any other time you see aurora it's on the poles which it it's coming in naturally just through the natural progress of things okay um but it does intensify when we get other things now Plasma bubbles. <laughs> We've kind of talked about this before, um, but not to this extreme. They've done, they've, they've done research on this now. Plasma bubbles in Earth's ionosphere. What they're saying here is that it gets thin in certain parts of uh, on Earth at any given time. And they're now they're looking at being able to detect that. 
So when our, our ionosphere is thin, they're they're going to be able to um, see whether or not they should be uh, issuing geomagnetic storm watches just in those specific areas. So this is that's that's probably a mile down the road, but that's what they're looking at here. Okay, to get more specific, it's kind of like looking at a overall weather map the whole United States versus your local weather, right? So that's kind of what they're looking at here, guys. So, yeah. Now, um, let me do this here. So, yeah, this is all new research, but they are plasma bubbles. That's what they're calling them, equatorial, which means they're around our equator. So, you know, I think what they're doing, they're trying to explain why we're starting to see stuff down that far south when we shouldn't be. Right? Um, so I, I, I'm taking this one with kind of a grain of salt. It, it's going to be... It's going to have to be said in a lot more... <laughs> a lot more and a lot... A uh, lot of other people talking about this before I'm going to say that that's actually what's happening. Um, I do think our magnetic field's weakening overall. So that would make sense that we, we would see these plasma, plasma bubbles start to pop up. Okay? So, just so everybody understands that. All right. Now, um, here is the HP. These are 30-minute increments. This is the, the um, data we look at for uh, geomagnetic storming. When this gets to 5, that's a G1. As you can tell, we're bouncing in and out, but right now everything's on a downtick. But, as I pointed out a minute ago, <clears throat> well, see? Now our BZ is going back north. See that? So... It could just be bouncing around very very fluid right now guys and that's that's very typical when we get these coronal holes okay um, I just want to make sure I point that out also I'm gonna to touch on this just for a second I am NOT the earthquake guy I say that with every part of my being I am NOT the person to be all that right um, there's a lot of other people out there. Go go check out Ron over at Emergency Management Associates. Um, and, and everybody else. Go watch everybody, guys. That's what I tell people. I don't, you know, I'm not going to sit here and try to tell people, only watch this person. That's just not who I am. So you're not ever going to hear that out of me. But I do watch Ron myself. I'll say that. And I watch other people too, but Ron is the first person I go to. Now... I'm pointing this out, guys, because this is a big deal over here right now, right? I'm not even going to say that word because it would affect the algorithm. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about here. I mean, I know you guys can. Right here, right? So, there was a earthquake reported there, but it's not showing up here at all on USGS. And just like I said the other day, what is almost the same I actually said this <laughs> my last live stream what is the same very similar frequency to an earthquake a big old N U K E boom boom okay so yeah and we're not getting any data plotted here which isn't all that abnormal for I for I am walking <laughs> country I guess um, you guys know what I'm getting at there uh, that's also why we don't see a whole lot plotted here over here in China or anywhere else um, but we do we, we do know when things happen over here don't get it twisted they just don't usually plot it in the sense that we normally would see it now we've seen bigger quakes over there and they plotted it so why isn't one there now we have to question that so and I'm not the only one talking about it this time. I was the only one that said it earlier, but this is what we're talking about now. So, But, guys, that's pretty much all I got for you right this second. Um, if anybody wants to become a member, please do. I'm going to be doing a members only later on tonight. Um, I got this really cool Star Wars thing I'm going to uh, hopefully give away. It's, uh, it's really cool, and I'm going to show it to you guys. And I got some cards and stuff I'm going to give away, too. And um, I'm going to do another regular live stream also tonight. And I'm sorry this feels rushed, because it is. Um, so I do apologize for that. 
and but I will be making that up to you um, tonight and then tomorrow I'm going to be doing a regular live stream also um, and depending on what's going on I may even do another members only I got a lot to make up for guys and I'm going to make up for it I'm going to earn that subscription I'm going to earn those memberships you guys are, are so generous of um, so just know that and I will be back please share this out and tell everybody I'll be back later on tonight um, probably around midnight um, I hate to say it but that's kind of where the time frame I'm looking at guys um, I'm not going to miss spending some time with all of my family I got all three of my kids and my wife we're all going it's going to be a good time I'm looking I'm looking forward to it so much this doesn't happen all the time so um, I, I just yeah I'm I'm excited so and I hope you guys uh, can understand that. And I will be back. And, uh, yeah. So, there's your short update. Um, that's kind of what I'm looking at doing just for the morning time anyway, guys. A 10 to 15 minute video. So, I might do that every morning just like I just did. But it won't be as rushed. Okay? So, just keep that in mind. So, thanks to everybody watching. Again, please share this out. Get everybody back here tonight. Um, if you want to be part of the members only, please consider doing that. Um... Like, what is my bottom bottom tier? Oh, it's a $4 one. So, yeah. So, if you guys are interested in doing all that, we have a good time over there. We don't do space weather. Typically, I'll answer questions about it, but I don't put anything behind a paywall. So, any kind of content you get here, you're going to get here. Okay? Um, we're going to play some games. I'm going to give away some cards and stuff like that. So, anyway, guys. God bless. Yahusha saves. I'll see you later on tonight, guys. And as always, you can drink this cool